Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my Hellboy uh, movie review. This is for the 2019 remake, directed by Neil Marshall. Was, I don't know much about Neil Marshall. I looked him up, and I, I don't think I've seen any of his movies. Um, I was really looking... I, li I like the Guillermo del Toro Hellboys, and with this movie, I kind of wanted to see... Well, with a Hellboy, a next Hellboy... I wanted to see a conclusion of the trilogy, and I guess, sadly enough, now we're not going to get it. I don't know why they decided to do, do this movie instead of finish off Guillermo del Toro's trilogy. He just won a Best Director Academy Award uh, last year, so I don't know. Maybe the budget was out of control, so they went with this thing. I think this thing's going to be a flop, t to be honest with you. I don't know why they put it out. Nobody wanted this version of Hellboy. And it's getting, it's getting trashed by the critics. Now, that being said... I think they're trashing it. I think they're being a bit unfair. It last I checked, they had like an 11 on Rotten Tomatoes. This movie is not that. I actually think it's it's um it, it's about an average movie. Um, I would give this movie a 50 on the Star Strider scale. And if I had to describe it in one word, it would be scatterbrained. It is a little bit all over the place, but I was able to keep a narrative. There's a guy who wants revenge. Um, he teams up with this witch um, to get revenge. And she wants to bring up all the creatures of the dark. I enjoyed it. You can shut your mind off and just watch some cool uh, scenes with uh, Hellboy fighting monsters. I, I did see one thing. There was one thing that was interesting. It's funny whenever um, there's a scene where a bunch of monsters come out and start killing people. I didn't see... There were only men that got killed, and I thought that was very interesting. There was a dead female, but I kept—I I was paying close attention for whatever reason. And these dudes were getting heads ripped off, ripped in half. This is a very, very gory movie. It's definitely a hard R movie. Um, so if you're into that stuff, you might want to watch it. But I, I found that very interesting. Yeah, I don't know why they why they did that. Well, I, I have my suspicions. Anyway, um, yeah, I say this movie's about bad average. It is a bit scatterbrained. Um, it does not deserve that 10 or 11 that they're giving it. Um, I think, yeah, it's about an average movie. It's a C. Um, I, I, I enjoyed it in the theater. Um, there's some stuff, I guess, kind of wasn't exactly all that tight, but I feel like they're just trying to capitalize at this point on the superhero craze, and what they're failing to realize is that superhero movies still can lose money if you don't make a good movie. Um, just because it's a superhero movie doesn't mean it's going to make all this ton of money. T all this tons of money. Anyway, um, I didn't really know any of the actors in it, except, come to find out, it was Mila Jovovich, and for I don't know if it's just me, but I, I didn't feel like that really looked like Mila Jovovich. I used to really like her. I feel like she. I I remember looking at the actress. I'm like, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? And it was her. It just it didn't look like her for whatever reason. I I don't know why. Maybe because she was in a dress. She plays this witch. Um, I I don't know. It just it didn't look like her to me. Um. That I, I don't know. But maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, Neil Marshall, I can't, Neil Marshall, I, I just, I can't say that, um, I know much of his work, I guess he's known for TV, he's done Lost in Space and Westworld, oh, well, one episode of Westworld, I'm, I'm kind of like looking at him, he did like two episodes of Game of Thrones, um, yeah, I don't. He doesn't. Uh, it seems like they just got him in there. They're like, let's, let's let's just crank this movie out. Whatever. I don't know what the point of this movie. It doesn't look. I like him fighting monsters. I thought that was cool. It, it reminded me a little bit of The Witcher. I feel like this is how The Witcher could be. Like, there's this really cool scene where he's fighting giants. There's a lot of cool moments in this movie. Um, I enjoyed it. It's way better than that ten. Um, it is a bit scatterbrained, though, and it's way underrated. Um, if you like Hellboy, I guess you'll like it. I have not read the comics, so I don't know. I mean, I mean you know what? So I, I can't really say. I retract that. Anyways, did you guys see it? Do you want to see it? Um, let me know. Leave your comments below, and like and subscribe. Okay, bye.